In this video, we will see how to draw a parabola by the eccentricity method. Here are the instructions. Draw a parabola when the distance between its focus and directrix is 50 mm. Also, draw a tangent and a normal at a point 70 mm from the directrix. Let's see how to draw this parabola. Before drawing, we need to understand what is eccentricity, eccentricity which we will denote by the letter E. It is the ratio of the distance between the point on a parabola and the focus, to the distance between that same point and the directrix. In other words, it is the ratio of the distance between point V and F, to the distance between point V and C. The eccentricity of the parabola is 1. This means the distance between VF is equal to the distance between VC. Here, the distance of focus from the directrix is given as 50 mm. Therefore, this point V will be exactly in the middle of this line, which is 25 mm away from point F or 25 mm away from point C. Let's start drawing. First, we have to draw a directrix, which is just a vertical line, which can be of any length, and mark a point on this directrix, and we will name it C. After this, we have to draw a perpendicular line to this directrix, which will be our axis for the parabola. To draw this axis, we will take a protector and mark 90 degrees, and by taking this point as a reference we will draw a line from point C. Next, mark a point on the axis at 50 mm away from the directrix, and name this point as F, and it will be the focus of a parabola. After this, mark a point which will be on the curve, this point will be exactly at the center of C and F. So take the ruler, and mark a point 25 mm away from point C. Next, we need to draw a vertical line from this point V. To draw a vertical line, we will use a roller scale, and take this line as a reference. Move the roller scale to point V, and draw a vertical line of some length. After this, Take a compass, and take this VF distance, and by using this distance, cut an arc on this vertical line V, and mark this intersection point as E. Next, draw a line passing from points C and E, and extend this line. After this, mark some points on a parabola, the distance between these points can be anything. They can be at equal or unequal lengths. For marking these points, we will take a compass and take some length, and cut an arc at an equal distance. Do the naming for these points. 1, 2, 3, and 4. After getting these points, we will draw a vertical line at each point, such that they touch this inclined line. These lines are drawn using a drafter or a roller scale. Take this line as a reference, and draw the vertical lines at all the points. Mark these intersection points as, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, and 4 dash. After this, take a compass, take this length between 1 to 1 dash, and using F as, the center, Cut an arc on both the sides of this vertical line, 1 to 1 dash. Mark this point as P1 dash, and this point as P1. Next, take this length from 2 to 2 dash on a compass, and using F as the center, cut an arc on a vertical line 2 to 2 dash. Mark this point as P2 dash and this point as P2. Similarly, do for all the lengths. Take the length between 3 to 3 dash on a compass, using F as the center, and cut an arc on a line 3 to 3 dash. Mark this point as P3 dash and this point as P3. At last, take the length between 4 to 4 dash on a compass, Using F as the center, cut an arc on a line 4 to 4 dash. Mark this point as P4 dash and this point as P4. After getting these P points, to get a parabola, draw a line passing through these points. To draw the curve, we will make use of French curves. 
Make sure all the points are touching this French curve while drawing the curve. This is the final parabola by using the eccentricity method. Next, we need to mark a tangent and a normal at a point 70 millimeters from the directrix. To do so, we need to mark a point on a curve which is 70 millimeters away from the directrix. By using a roller scale, taking this horizontal line as a reference, we can see that this distance is 70 millimeters. Make sure that the zero of the roller scale is at the directrix. Now move the roller scale up and see where the 70 millimeters is coming on the curve. We can see the 70 millimeters is coming at this point. Mark this point as P. The distance of this point on a curve is 70 millimeters from the directrix. So, we have to draw a tangent and normal at this point P. To draw a tangent, join this P point with F point with a line. Next, draw a perpendicular line to this PF line at F. To draw a perpendicular line, take a protector, keep at this point. Make sure point F is coinciding at the protector's center and mark 90 degrees. After this, by taking this point as a reference, Draw a line from point F to directrix and mark this point as T. Now, draw a line passing from points T and P. This line will be our tangent to the curve. Next, draw a perpendicular line to this tangent, which will be normal to the curve. To do so, take the protector, keep it on the tangent, and mark 90 degrees on the protector. Now, Draw a line which is passing from P in this point. This is our normal. I hope you have understood how to draw a parabola using the eccentricity method. If this video helped you in understanding, then please click on the like button, and if you are new to my channel, ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button so that you get all my latest videos.